Hi guys and girls, it's username K and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be reviewing Suzuki's Venice 125. Now this is one of their many scooters in the range and today in this vlog we're going to look at the scooter, the specifications, what it's like for me to sit on this scooter and push around and also we're going to get out on the road. So if you're interested to see that then keep watching and I'll play the intro. Yeehaw! Right guys, I'm on the Suzuki of Venice 125 and we are just caught in about. about living the best life guys you know that I will never be embarrassed to ride a scooter I love them don't get me wrong I love my big bikes of course but there's just something about nipping around on a scooter with absolute ease and convenience convenience practicality easy to ride it's literally how i would sum up riding a scooter rev and go rev and rip and to do it on the suzuki of venice as i found out by going to scotland and back avoiding motorways uh, on this exact well not this one but the address 125 mike rode this one let me tell you scooter life it's a life for me. <laughs> Don't worry, I won't be getting rid of Beatrix anytime soon. That's my R1200 GS for those who are quite new to the channel. But you guys know here that on this specific bike channel, username K is always variety. We'll ride anything. Anything with two wheels, we will give it a go. No shame, no ego just jump on it and have fun that's the aim right we've got a nice little challenge here to try and keep up with a golf it's a diesel so i've got half a chance right <laughs> i hope it puts a shift in and lets the little scoot scoot work i mean so far he's not putting a shift in Oh, he's even braking for this bend when he's not even going fast enough to be using the brakes. Oh, come on. Don't be a diver in Dilbert. The golf's making me ride in eco mode, man. That's when you're not revving it, by the way. <laughs> so what do I like about the Venice 125? Well, when I first found out I was getting this bike, I was calling it an Aventis. I thought it was an Aventis, but it's not, it's an Aventis. Drop the T. No T, Kate, no T. And the things I really like about Aventis, I like the LCD dash. It takes up the whole screen. It is just LCD, so there's no colour, but to be honest, with a, a fairly cheap scooter, do you need a, a fancy colour TFT? Probably not. You've got all the information nice and clear that you need to see, the time, the fuel in bars, the MPG currently, your odometer, you can switch through uh, other things on the screen like trip, time, battery voltage, all that good stuff. But yeah, the dash is lovely, nice and clear. I like the fact we've got 21.5 litres of storage under the seat. I like the fact that on the Avenis we've got, we've got some stuff going on at the front. If we look here, we've got a little pocket which fits a, a nice water bottle in, but that one is exposed to the elements. But then on this side, Let's get past this roundabout where we need to concentrate. There we go. On this side, we have a little drawer that has a USB inside. 
So unlike the Address 125 which has just a, an exposed compartment like this, you can actually keep a phone or whatever you want to keep dry in this one. So I think that's pretty good. I think it's pretty good. Let's go. Beat the bus. <laughs> But yeah, scooters, they're just so easy to ride. You sat on a big armchair, you've got your legs in front, literally like you're just sat on, say, a kitchen dining chair or your sofa. Like your legs are out in front, your bent knees. It's quite funny, I took this specific <laughs> moped or scooter. Oh, we've got some blues and twos behind us. Let's just move over. stop here because we don't know what way he wants to go there we go carry on and I was fully pinned fully pinned on the motorway to the point where my elbow was touching my knee because the throttle was wound on that much Oh, it's not a Friday or Saturday night, so I can't show you the local sights of Allerton in their full glory. What a shame. So yeah, I was full talk on this. And again, I was seeing 67 on the dash as a maximum, but it is five miles an hour out, as discovered by the GPS. So in reality, it's top speed for somebody of nine stone and a half is probably like 62 miles an hour. Mike on the other hand struggled greatly. Now he's 14 stone and yeah, it could not sit at 60 mile an hour comfortably with his weight, but it can do with mine. So that's something to factor in if you are thinking about getting a scooter. Obviously learn illegal being a 125. We've got 8.5 brake horsepower. All wrapped up in a convenient, economical package. Scooters are just so comfy. 600 miles in two days on them. Completed it mate. And I got off the scooter at the end of the day and my bum wasn't in tatters. I actually find them so ridiculously comfy. We've got a claimed 148 MPG, cheap insurance, cheap to run. I mean, this has a 5.2 litre fuel tank. So, yeah. And, and for that, I think we got about 70 miles. They do claim 160 miles that you can get from a tank. And I wouldn't put it past the scooters. We were getting 70, but we were literally wide open pretty much all the days in Scotland because the roads are that flowy and that windy that you can just, one, keep the corner speed so you don't really have to shut off. But also, yeah, it's just flat out because it, it's not a very fast machine, is it? But I can imagine if you're doing this, like 23 miles an hour, pootling through town, going to your work, commute, etc, etc. Yeah, absolutely. It's probably doable. The higher range is probably achievable. Traffic light GP. Let's see if I can get off the line quick. Oh, and she's gone. And she's gone. Light work light work picks up nicely on the throttle no complaints about how it picks up its speed eyes in the back of your head around Lee when you're on a scooter eyes on stalks I lived in Lee part time for quite a while so I'm qualified to say that without being disrespectful turn here 
I've got them link brakes doing the most. I only really use a back brake on this scoot because it puts the front on. Oh, I'll take you through a nice uh, bit of graffiti on on a house in a minute, just here. It's pretty cool. Well, yeah, it's a great town bike. It's even fun on the country lanes. It's even fun just to fling around on the country lanes. Ped guy, but you don't know whether to trust other ped guys. In Lee, be on your guard. On guard! Go here and leave myself uh, an exit, depending on where he goes. But yeah, I think we'll nip to my dad's now and we'll do a username dad quick review and see what he thinks of the Venice 125. <laughs> Look at that dog in a basket. We got a dog in a basket. We got a dog in a basket. We got a dog in a basket. Dog in a basket. Dog in a basket. Dog in a pram. We got a dog in a pram. We got a dog in a pram. Nice Merc. Nice. Right, let's see what Dad thinks to this one. Dad, what do you think of this one? Okay. A Venice. Oh, I thought you think of Toyota or Venice. I know. I thought it it's was. A Venice. It's just the name. Really? Yeah, it's a 125 scooter. It looks a bit more Gucci than the other one. Do you think it looks more aggressive? Yeah. A bit more sporty and cool. Yeah, I like that. 400X. Oh yeah. Cool. Um, yeah, at least a bit more 400X. I don't see that style of. Yeah. Yeah, a bit, like you say, a bit more edgy, a bit more. Yeah, and the dash on this one is just LCD, whereas the other had like a analog. And then this one's got a waterproof thing with get a. Hamster in there. Get a hamster in there. A bottle of water in there. You got your little hooks. Yeah. And then this has got slightly less storage, but a slightly bigger fuel tank. I prefer that one to the other one. Yeah. A bit Mike rode this one. Of course he did. I couldn't have him wobbling around on a little address, could I? That other one that you went off with, that address, where it zips along. Oh, it does. This one does as well. Did you zip? Yeah. So, how would you summarise it, Dad, in three words? Oh, three things. Better than t'other. <laughs> Better than t'other. Love it. <laughs> right, on that note, Dad, give my regards to Mum. Oh, See you later. You know what it's like to ride? Let's now take a look and find out what the Avenis looks like when we're up close and personal. It comes in at £2,699 at the time of filming and is available in two sporty colours. Firstly, we have this colour option, Pearl Mirage White and Metallic Matte Fibron Grey. And then secondly, it's available in metallic matte fibron grey and metallic lush green. Suzuki's sporty scoot has Suzuki's eco performance engine at its core, producing 8.5 brake horsepower and 10 newton meters of torque. We have a 5.2 litre tank claiming 148 mpg. Not bad. To highlight some of the Avenis 125's best features, we have access to 21.5 litres of storage under the seat, an LED headlight and rear light, a pretty modern and easy to read LCD dash, two carrying hooks, it also has Suzuki's quick start button, a USB charger, one open storage compartment and one sealed and closable compartment, for total convenience, as well as a theft deterrent mechanism. 
If you're after a scooter that's sporty and aggressive looking, this might be worth a test ride. Okay guys and girls, so we'll see what this scooter is like for me to sit on as a five foot four individual with a 29 inch inside leg measurement. Now the scooter has a seat height of 780 mil, so it is very much on the low side. And as you can see, very easy to get a foot down. It's not troubling at all. Now, if we look at what this is like to push, 107 kilograms, so it literally weighs nothing. And it is ridiculously easy to turn around. It's something that I'm pretty sure anyone can manage very very light well everybody i hope you have enjoyed the vlog on the suzuki of venice 125 if i missed anything out or you have any questions please feel free to write them in the comments below and i will certainly try and answer them for you if you haven't hit that subscribe button please consider doing so it really helps my channel and i appreciate you all and until the next time guys take care ride safe and i'll see you then bye